My Soul Speaks promotes holistic health and wellness for seekers on their spiritual journey to nurture the spirit, mind, and body. Peace and divine love. I'm Tasleem Jamila, and thanks so much for listening to My Soul Speaks podcast. Peace and divine love. This is Taslim Jamila, the lyrical healer, holistic health coach, and certified Reiki practitioner. I'm so happy to be here with you today because today we're going to talk about energy, vibrations, and frequency. So what do I mean by that? I'm sure you've heard the term, everything is energy, everything is vibration, everything is frequency. Well, it is. And that is true and exact. So, what does that mean in your life? What really brought up this topic, I talk about this all the time. As you know, I am a holistic health coach and I have my own school, My Soul Speaks Institute, which I create online courses, live in person events. I have personal actual clients and product services and also a lyrical healer. I deal with frequency and sound. I am an artist. So I'm a performance poet, a singer and a hip hop artist. And so I produce my own music. I play instruments. So I deal a lot with sound, energy, vibration, and frequency. It's my entire life and what I do every day, all day. So I'm always thinking about it, researching, and also just the way I live my life through my meditation and the different sound energy healing. I deal with a lot of sound bowls healing um, and different instruments and tones as healing. And so... I thought about it when I was thinking about situations in my life and how they may come up. So recently, a few weeks ago, I ate something at a restaurant that I hadn't eaten at in years because I really don't eat that type of food anymore. Not necessarily the the type, but I've kind of elevated up in the types of food that I choose to um, eat. And for the most part, I prepare my own foods. I like my own energy to go into it. And I have a few key places that I go to when I want to eat somewhere else. And this one isn't one of my usual um, new places that I go to. I haven't, like I said, been there in years. And so I ate and my daughter ate and I say that night I had severe pains like almost like food poisoning like somebody stabbed me in the stomach I'm like oh this is horrible (laughs) so it wasn't just like a regular digestion problem no it was um like food poisoning and so just having those issues even over the last I guess a few weeks, not consistently, but I knew exactly as a holistic health um, coach and healer exactly what to do. So, of course, I got my herbal infusions and just to get back on it. And when you look at that situation, of course, you can say, I said, I will never eat at that place again. But let's look at it from a spiritual standpoint, which is over everything um, from a metaphysical realm. And I said, Because I've raised my vibration and my frequency and the foods that I consume and I prepare and I eat, this food was on a lower vibration. And I am not on that vibration or that frequency anymore. So therefore, my body is like, what are you doing? You're not going to go down. You're not going to eat this and think that I'm going to accept it. When you prepare your own food with um, the right thoughts and energy and prayers that you put into your food and intentions and you've raised your vibration. So I looked at it as something on a beautiful level to let me know, for one, it's time to raise 
your energy of your herbal concoctions and infusions on a regular basis again and take it to the next level. And also, just to let you know, it's time also for another cleaning out of your system on another level because I look at my everyday lifestyle as a cleansing lifestyle, a cleansing diet or eating habits. I don't like to say diet, but a cleansing lifestyle. But there are times that at least once a month I recommend or every six weeks at least is to deliberately, specifically, intentionally go in and clean out your system for at least three days with no food with either water, nothing, or herbal infusions. And so this was a time that was telling me it's time for you to raise your frequency to a new level. So if you have some things going on in your life and you always have to look at the spiritual aspect of them as well as the physical aspect, of course, you may look at it and say, okay, never do that again. But What did you get out of it? What are some higher lessons that you can learn from that? What other higher energy is there to raise you up? And also, think about situations and frequencies where I'm sure you've had this happen, because I've had it happen several times in my life, where you may be around people and you're working on something together or you start on a project or you just maybe even just around this person and you all are companions or friends and all of a sudden something um, happens where either they just stop coming around, they stop calling or they pull out of the project or it's just something where you're like, what? What is this? Where, Where did this come from? Everything, look at it from the standpoint of everything is energy. Oftentimes you've outgrown that energy and that situation is time for you to change your radio station. When you think about energy and frequency and vibrations, it's kind of like a radio station. So think about a radio station. If someone, their frequency is 107.5 and yours is 89.3, You're on two different frequencies. You're on two different energies. And even just think about those dials when you travel around the country in America. 107.3.5 point on that end. It's always something more pop and urban and loud and this. And usually on the the dials where it's like 89.3 or those lower, those usually the local stations, more organic, more stations where they play the real talk radio or the real hip hop or some, you know, real issues of activism and social justice are going on. Two different frequencies, two different energies. And oftentimes they don't meet up. So don't always look at situations in a way to be something in that is not good for you. I like to see things, I always talk about this as divine flow, divine alignment. So look at it as like, okay, that time is up. I've moved to a different energy and frequency and we just don't blend together well anymore. Almost like my herbal tonics, certain herbs you would not put together, you know, certain flower Herbs I may not put with the root herbs. And you kind of have to look at it like that. Like, hmm, especially if you're working on yourself on a daily basis to raise your frequency. And everybody is not doing that. Everybody is not continuously, you know, clearing their energy, have um, clearing their heart, first of all, clearing their mind. And it also shows, it shows in a person's heart what comes out of their mouth. Um, And so you could just listen to people, listen to um, their energy. And it's not even always, you know, social media. You could be anything on social media and post that. Have a conversation with someone. Are they angry all the time? Are they upset? Are they, you know, have a lot of jealous or envy or gossip and say, well, I'm just saying it how it is. Or just listen to people's conversations. And 
if you're the kind of person that you're always working on yourself and you're always looking at yourself first and you're quiet to go within most of the time, not quiet when you need to be talking. I mean, you spend a lot of time alone in the divine realm where you're meditating, you're eating higher frequency foods, you are just elevating at such an impeccable level that sometimes you might outgrow people so fast and it almost looks like, wow, like things are chaotic. But know that sometimes your light even is so bright. It's too bright for other people in the frequency and some people just can't take it and that's okay. So look at it as God removed them from your life. And then sometimes your light may be even dim from certain people to protect you. So God may protect you and not even allow people to see your light. And you may look at, that's why it's just really dangerous to look at what other people are doing. Because maybe God wants people to see their light in a certain way. And that's okay. But maybe God is dimming your light to certain people And you have to trust that the right people, the right opportunities and situations will always be in divine flow and right for you. And it will be all for you. So all who are supposed to see you, all situations, all opportunities that are supposed to see you will see you when they are supposed to. I'm talking about those who are doing the work consistently. You know you're working toward it and you're having an impeccable work ethic and you are working on yourself physically, spiritually, mentally every single day. Know that you're not just doing this for nothing if you don't see things happening in the way that you think. Now, we're dealing with infinite thinking. Connect to the infinite. When you connect to the infinite, you trust and divine flow, divine timing, and God's time. And that situation and the right frequency is always choosing you when you are intentional. So the right person will say yes to you. And the people that are not on your frequency or vibration or situations or opportunities, they will go. And when the right ones come, it could just be one opportunity that could come that could just transform your life. So this is just encouragement or encouragement for those who are continuously working on themselves, who are who have an impeccable work ethic toward their spiritual growth, their physical growth, their mental growth, who are, who are serving and putting out good into the universe and into the world. Know that. Keep tuning yourself in to the higher frequencies, those things that allow you to vibrate high. And all good for you will come to you. Those opportunities and situations who are aligned and on the same station will see your light and will say yes, yes, yes to you in a big way. So let's talk about, I'll just go over a few ways that you can raise your frequency and vibration. Number one, sincere prayer reason why I say sincere prayer, because some people pray and it's not really sincere. Or they pray and they finish praying and they don't feel any better because they didn't let it go. Their thoughts are wandering everywhere. They, they're still angry. They're still gossiping. They're still, they can't wait to get on the phone to talk about somebody or post online. So it, it wasn't focused. It wasn't sincere. And that's something you just need to really practice doing and ask God to make it sincere and to cleanse your heart. Number two is the meditation, and that's after the prayer to really listen to what God is saying to you. Listen to the divine within. Listen. Shut down your senses and just listen with your higher self, with your divine self. And next, number three would be to get some physical movement. I would say some kind of Movement that is flowing, walking, dancing, yoga, qigong, tai chi. Something that 
you can align your energy centers and connect to the universal force, divine force and chi on a daily basis. Number four is, of course, what you eat physically in your daily life. Plant-based eating. I have a course actually coming up in a day or so on My Soul Speaks Institute. And if you hear this before this February 16th, you can still go ahead and register. Plant-based eating, meaning food that is organic without pesticides, without genetically modified, electric foods that are not grafted, fruits and vegetables. Eat them at the right times. Eat them um, the right amount. And number five, let's see, it's many other things you could do, but number five, I would say, is to the circle of people that you are around. Watch the people and the energy that you are around and how they make you feel and what comes out when you are around them. If you're always upset or the conversation goes on a lower level, and sometimes you have to be very careful. Some people can pretend like they're talking on a higher level, not really pretend or kind of camouflage. But when your frequency is raised and when you're doing all those other things, you'll be able to see clearly with your first eye your spiritual eye, that inner eye, that inner voice, that inner divine. So let's keep our frequencies on a higher vibration and know that everything is in divine flow. So look at the blessings of all things and know that if people got away in your life, they're no longer in there. Hey, look at it as God slowly eased them out because greater is coming when you have an impeccable worth ethic working on yourself, first of all, spiritually, physically, mentally. You need all of that holistically. So I'm your sister, Taslim Jamila. Thank you for being here. Peace and divine love. For more information, please check out My Soul Speaks Institute.com.